Hello and welcome to another episode with the Autistic Angler. Today I'm popping over the road again to see if this time I've finally got the setup right. Just have a nice pea flu, have a go with the uh, Bombata float. So I'll see you over there. So hopefully I might have the right setup today. So I've got the uh, Silver Max and I've loaded it with 18 pound mono it's the Dyra that I had left this wasn't the reel that I was having trouble with the other day but strangely enough this didn't have anything on it and well I thought I'd try it out with the um, mono as I was having so much trouble the other day the I don't know where the wind's coming from yeah, coming from along the beach again. It's only a gentle wind. We're about an hour before high tide. And for the moment, there's a couple of fat chaps fishing just next to me, bait fishing. And all I'm going to do is see if I can get this Bombarda blooming set up going without anything going wrong this time. So, I've got a little swivel at the end of my main line and one of those little breakaway mini links. And that's going on to the float that I've trapped between a couple of small beads and two mini swivels as well. And yes, I know there's a lot of swivels around, but uh, I don't mind that. I like the swivels. Right, so the float's okay. Swivel each side of a mini link clip. So now, I'm gonna stick with the four ounce, the four ounce, the four pound fluorocarbon. And we'll stick a length of that on with one of those um, sound deal lures that I was using the other day. I do like those. And I'm sure it's only gonna be a matter of time before something actually commits themselves to it. So that's the lure again. They are a lovely lure. Oh there's somebody else fishing up the other end as well so there's a couple of people fishing out. And what's to blame them? It's a lovely sunny Saturday. Foot was not on till tomorrow afternoon. Oh, and here we go. I didn't bring any glasses with me. Oh, yes, I did. Got a new pair of Joe Nighties. There you go, look. Mrs. B knows me only too well. She got me five was it four or five pairs of these the other day so as always union knot going on Trim and just throw that bit on the beach. Not. So I went like that the other day for my length of leader. So I'll stick with that. So that seems to work alright as well. So I'll just stick this on the uh, 
underneath the float. Now I've got the float the right way round. This has been tied onto the swivel. So I've got three swivels in this setup. Which is an overkill. But I like having a swivel at the end of the line. Any reel I've got, I like having a swivel at the end because it means you're not cutting off of it every time you you go out again. And because they're little swivels, they're not exactly heavy. Something I said. No, no. Have you? We had enough of them, the weed. So much for the motto, look. But I'm guessing this is because the spool has been in the cupboard for ages. Thank you very much. So no, no ironing out the wrinkles here then. What am I going to do? I'm seriously thinking of giving up on this. Well, I'm going to cut all that rubbish off and start again. That was nice of them to give me their leftover rag then. Right, let's have another go. See if we can get this blooming lot out. So our confidence is taking us yet another hit. So let's see.
Paragrate Crested Greaves. I think it's the first time I've seen two of them together. Out here, anyway. Whew, it was hot out there. So, conclusions. Well, at least I managed to get a, a few chucks in, apart from the weed. I think that uh, mono is a bit too heavy. So, the eight pound braid that I've ordered might be better. But uh, I had a look on the rod and it was 30 to, yeah, 30 to 80. Because, to be honest, the rod felt a bit underpowered, and that's probably why. It did cast it all out, but I would have thought it would have casted it further. I haven't got a rod with a lower chucking weight. What's this one? This won't have a lower weight. This is a really old one. That won't have a lower weight. That's only 30 to 30. 30, to 30. OMG! But if that's 30 to 30, that might actually cast out the 40 better. Right? That's what I'm going to have to do then. I'll have a chuck on this um, this older rod before I go and buy another rod. The reel that I was using today, that Abu, whatever it's called, what's the type of this range? The Silver Max. The Silver Max reel felt fine. So if I put some eight pound braid on that silver match reel and chuck it on this old Shakespeare spinning rod, which is a casting weight up to 30, it should manage to take 40, all right? If I'm gentle with it. And that will show me if I need to get another rod and another reel. But, hey. So thank you very much to the gentleman that uh, gave me his extra rag. You have to leave that with me. So for the moment, that's me done.